Welcome to the IRC and AU Library Second Floor Usage Study Review. This video provides an overview of the IRC and Library Second Floor areas selected for gathering usage data. It features key elements of the IRC Usage Study Worksheets and the process used to collect and enter data. The Usage Study Chart is located on the IRC desk with the weekly update clipboard and IRC reference materials. Usage binders are prepared each month. Binder cover page includes the year, predetermined date range, any special scheduling details, and the number of days being tracked. The Daily Usage Worksheet Summary page offers tips for completing the charts as well as potential data gathering scenarios. The AU Library Second Floor Chart Instructions provide directions for gathering usage data, detailed information for each chart column, and a full description of the areas. The Instructional Resource Center Chart Instructions provide directions for gathering usage data, detailed information for each chart column, and a full description of the areas. A map, or bird's eye view, of the Instructional Resource Center and AU Library's second floor highlights areas and resources assessed during data collection. For ease of use, a map key is provided. A worksheet is provided for each day of the month. Each worksheet contains two usage chart areas. The library's second floor data is gathered once an hour and collected in the top chart. Its focus is where students are working on the second floor. IRC data is gathered continuously and collected on the bottom chart. Its focus is what students are doing and what resources are being used. Let's take a closer look at Library Second Floor Worksheet Categories. Library Second Floor Counts are taken once an hour, most often on the half hour. When walking around the second floor, these areas have been designated for data collection. Time. Enter the time you are taking the count. Enter the number of users working at second floor computers. Detail anyone working at the copy or print station. Enter users at any round table, including our cafe tables. Users at center tables, group tables in the curriculum area. Look for anyone browsing the curriculum or education stacks. Look at users working in the study room, anyone on the second floor using a bean bag, energy ball, or comfortable chair, and count members in any class meeting on the second floor. Check for anyone browsing the juvenile stacks, and finally, enter your initials after completing the row. Why? This helps if there are questions about data collected. Let's take a closer look at IRC worksheet categories. IRC counts are taken continuously during the day. The worksheet is kept at the IRC desk for easy access. These areas and resources have been designated for data collection. Any question asked in the IRC or on the second floor. All questions are entered into IRC reference analytics. Campus tour groups, be sure to count the guide and group members. IRC CERC is anyone browsing the IRC circulating collection. Laminate is anyone using the roll or sheet laminators. Anyone using the Ellison machines or die cut collections. Any use of our button maker or binding machine. For supplies, any use of IRC supplies such as our paper cutter, scissors, or glue. Print jobs released to the IRC color printer. Anyone using a computer inside the Instructional Resource Center. Tables is anyone working at one of the IRC tables. And finally, enter your initials after completing the row. Why? This helps if there are any questions about the data collected. Let's take a closer look at gathering data with examples from each area. 
Here is a library second floor chart. Below it is the second floor map. Each red silhouette represents one user in an area. When gathering data at 10.30 a.m., how would you complete the chart? There are three people using computers, one sitting at a cafe table, one sitting at a center table, one person in the study room, and one person in the juvenile stacks. Here is an IRC chart. Above it is the IRC floor plan. Each red silhouette represents one user in an area between 10 and 11 a.m. When gathering data for that hour, how would you complete the chart? There is one person browsing material kits, two people laminating, three people working with the Ellison machines, one person using an IRC computer, and one person sitting at a table. Are you ready for the quiz? Remember, feel free to review this video, peruse any materials in the Use of Study binder, and ask if you have any questions.